If you are watching this video, there is a 100% chance that you have made a mistake in your lifetime. Maybe even multiple mistakes. Maybe you made this mistake or these mistakes when you were much younger. But let me guess, you just can't seem to let this mistake go. You just can't seem to forgive yourself for this mistake. And you keep allowing this mistake to have capacity over you, to have power over your thoughts. But until you forgive yourself for your past mistakes, your past mistakes will Will impact your present and will certainly impact your future. But here's the great thing, although you have learned to punish yourself for your past mistakes, this also means that you can learn to stop punishing yourself for your past mistakes and you can learn to forgive yourself and that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video today. Hello, I'm Sean Holden, a mindset coach who helps people change how they think, feel and talk about themselves, allowing them to turn the life they want into the life they have. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, then why not consider subscribing and you will receive weekly videos to help you help yourself. So let's get into this week's video and talk about how you can forgive yourself for past mistakes today. So I'm going to share with you the four A's of forgiveness and this formula will allow you to finally start forgiving yourself for your past mistakes. So let's take a trip down memory lane. When we are young children we are taught how to treat and speak to other people. We are taught to be polite, to be kind and be caring. But one thing we are not taught is how to speak and treat ourselves. And because of this, we actually allow ourselves to speak to ourselves in ways we wouldn't speak to others. But the problem with this negative self-talk, it tends to increase and amplify when we find ourselves making mistakes. Again, as children, we are taught not to hold grudges. We are taught to forgive people for their mistakes. But we aren't taught how to forgive ourselves for our own mistakes. But if we choose not to forgive ourselves, if we decide to live a life with unforgiveness, it can become a very dark and dangerous place to be. You can end up holding on to a lot of anger, resentment, animosity, shame, and it can be detrimental to your mental health and well-being. Whether it was a small mistake you made or a catastrophic one, the things that you need to do in order to move forward and forgive yourself will look the same. So next, I'm going to give you a formula to enable you to forgive yourself for past mistakes. This formula is called the four A's of forgiveness. The first step is to accept and acknowledge your mistake. Without taking this vital step, the other steps are irrelevant and will be impossible for you to take. Now you might think that this step is obvious, but the chances are you've probably been trying to put this mistake at the back of your mind. You've probably been trying to forget about it for as long as you can for months, years, or even decades. And you might have even tried to pretend that this mistake never happened. But the problem when doing this is you're just prolonging your suffering. Now in life, pain is guaranteed, but suffering is a choice. So in order to cultivate a better mindset and give yourself a better future, you need to accept and acknowledge the mistake that you made in the past. You need to accept and acknowledge it in the present in order to pave the way for a better future. Now the next step is one you won't want to do, but it's crucial in forgiving yourself. The next step is to apologize. You need to apologize to the person or the people that you hurt with your mistake. But if the person or the people that you hurt with your mistake are no longer with you or are no longer alive, you can still do this. I will get to that bit in a minute. Now apologizing to the person or the people that you hurt will feel painful and uncomfortable at first. But in life, there are some things worth enduring the pain and discomfort for and forgiving yourself and apologizing is one of them. Apologizing will be a cleansing exercise for yourself. This will indicate that you have finally decided to stop pretending that this mistake didn't happen. This will indicate that you have finally decided to accept, acknowledge and apologize for the mistake that you have made, allowing you to take a step further in forgiving yourself. And this will also indicate that you are finally taking ownership of this mistake. You're finally taking ownership of this situation. And by doing this, this will be a huge sign that you're finally deciding to do something different today to prevent you from carrying around this pain and this punishment in the shape of an emotional bed. 
garden and you're doing something that you should have done months, years or decades ago. Now if you're unable to apologize to these people for whatever reason, then what you need to do is you need to write them a letter, write down everything that you would if you were able to speak with them. I want you to write a letter to them accepting and acknowledging the mistake and apologizing for the mistake. And by doing this, this will allow you to break free from the shackles of your past mistakes. The next step and the final A in the four A's of forgiveness is my favorite one. It's the most empowering part. The final A in the four A's of forgiveness is action. Taking action allows you to change your behaviors, to change your patterns, to enable you to start becoming the person that you wish you were. Become the person that you need to be to form and create a better relationship with yourself and to form and to create a better relationship with your mistakes. Taking action allows you the opportunity to change, the opportunity to get better, the opportunity to develop, to learn, to grow and to understand that because of this mistake you now have the ability, the information, the capacity to do better and be better. But you must remember when you do make these mistakes you owe it to yourself to forgive yourself. So there you go, the 4A formula for forgiveness. Now, if this video is not enough for you and you need more support, I have created a 90-day coaching program designed specifically to help you to start forgiving yourself for past mistakes. I will leave a link in the description box below if you are interested. But before you go this week, let me leave you with this quote. Forgiving yourself isn't an option, it's imperative. It's imperative for you to stop bringing your past mistakes into your present and stop allowing them to have control over your future. So that's it from me this week. I hope you found value in this video and it's allowed you to finally start forgiving yourself for your past mistakes. And I'll see you all in next week's video.